Hello there, this is Sam and thank you so much for visiting my channel. Today I'm back with another video and in this video we're going to talk about the virtual DJ keyboard mapping still. First before we go, I have to apologize, I have a little noise in my background but I hope you'll enjoy the video the way it is. Now, in this video we're going to talk about how we can make a mapping for the virtual DJ scratch DNA, meaning you'll be able to map it on your keyboard and operate the DNA scratch using the keyboard instead of trying to drag it, I mean tap on it with the, the mouse. In case you're a beginner, this is a great way to start. And of course, check this out to the end. I also made my recent tutorials and in the recent one, I, I talked about how you can make a mapping for the crossfader. In case you still don't know that, you can check in the description here. I have links to all my keyboard mapping tutorials on Virtual DJ. You can always watch. Now, if you're new to my channel, before we continue, please, I recommend you subscribe to my channel because I have more great content coming your way. And if you've already done it so, then we are good to go. Without wasting any time, let's check the video. All right, guys, so welcome. Now we're going to make a very quick mapping for the DNA scratch or the scratch DNA, whatever you call it. Okay, this is it. We're going to play using the mouse. Yeah, so that's how it sounds when you are just playing using the mouse. Yeah, of course, it sounds the same way. But of course, instead of trying to use the mouse this way, we're going to make a mapping. We're going to start using the keyboard to play the scratch. Follow the video along to see that. All right, so just go to your settings for you to start the mapping. Just go to your settings or the configurations, and then in under the configurations, go to mapping. And then in mapping, type the button you want to use in the key section, okay? In this case, I want to use the control button. Then down in the action, action center, just type pad 5 or the, the pad which you want to use. In this case, I'm using pad 5. Or if I don't want to use that, I just come down to this small pin, where, okay? And then those are the pads, okay? You'll pick it from here and then go and tap one of those pads which you want to use. So let's drag and put it on pad. That's pad that's pad six, right? Yeah, that's, let me repeat, like that. Just after typing the, 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 the button you want to use, do that, okay? And then save it. After saving, come and try playing. I'm going to press the control button and you'll hear it playing, just like this. Let's take the music to the first beat and then listen to it, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I hope that sounds nice, guys. That is it. So you can do that for as many buttons as you want, okay? We have there around uh, around nine buttons. Yeah, there are eight buttons. So you can do that for eight, eight parts. I mean, those are eight parts. You can do as many buttons as you want, like eight or two, depending on your, uh, your preference. So you can simply do that and enjoy. All right, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I hope the video really works out for you. If you've fallen in love with it, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, also subscribe if you're still new to my channel. And of course, if there's anything you want me to know, I have the comment section down below. I'll always give replies to any comments you make. Please see you in the next video. Peace out.